let's look at the substantive procedures for bank balances substantive procedures for bank balances the first one is uh, obtain standard bank confirmations from each bank for the client during the audit period so the auditor is supposed to obtain confirmations from each bank of the entity where the entity keeps money during the audit period then another one is agree all accounts listed on the bank confirmations to the entity's bank reconciliation or the trail balance or the general ledger so the auditor is supposed to to match like the accounts that were listed on the bank confirmations and then uh, match it with what was recorded in the bank reconciliation or in the trail balance or in the general ledger and then see if they are matching and if they are not matching the difference is investigated another procedure is uh, verify the bank balances with a reply to standard bank letter and with a bank statement like the balances that were recorded in the in the statement of financial position like verify them with a standard bank letter like the confirmation letter then with the bank statements and see if they are matching then another procedure is reperform the arithmetic of the entities year in bank reconciliations by recasting it like you can recalculate the entities year in bank reconciliations to see if what they calculated is correct this is to confirm accuracy then another one is uh, verify balances per the cash book according to the bank reconciliation by inspecting cash book bank statements and then the general journal so this is like bank reconciliation you compare the cash book and then the bank statement to see if uh, they are matching and then if they're not the difference is uh, investigated another procedure is a uh, trace outstanding checks from the bank reconciliation like the unpresented checks from the bank reconciliation to the cash book prior to the year end and to the after date bank statements and then obtain explanations for any large or unusual items that are not yet cleared at the time of the audit like why is it that that money has not yet been deducted from the bank stuff like that then uh, another one is compare cash books and bank statements in details for the last month of the year and match items outstanding at the reconciliation date to the bank statements so you can compare the cash book and then the bank statement for the last month let me say for december yeah and match those items that are still outstanding or the items that are unpresented at the reconciliation date then another one is uh, determine whether the bank accounts are subjected to any restrictions by queries with management whether there is any restriction to any account yeah then uh, lastly is review draft accounts to ensure that disclosures for bank are complete and accurate and in accordance with the accounting standards and this is to confirm presentation so those are some of the substantive procedures they are very many yeah you can just decide to cram like something like seven or five